Welcome to episode number four of the Varied Gary podcast. Now check this out. John Sperry, and the song's called Give Me a Warning, and I'll give you a warning. John Sperry is in the house, and he's going to play some live songs. I guess this isn't live. You're listening to a download or on YouTube or something right now, but anyway, it's a good thing, too, because we had a lot of malfunctions during the show, and I had to stitch together a Frankenstein-like podcast. But anyway, I'm not going to talk forever. Let's just get down to the podcast and... You're going to love John's songs. He's a great songwriter. I asked him to play three. So I asked him to play an extra song at the end of it. We d- I didn't know if he was going to play it or not, but I'm glad he did because he knocked it out of the park. That's what pros do. So anyway, let's get to it. Enjoy the podcast. Pew, 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 pew. John, thanks for coming on the podcast. You're welcome, bud. Nice <laughs> to see you. Good to see you. Nice to see you. So, uh, people listening here, I've known John for a long, long time. It's been a long, long time since I've seen John, too. Yeah. Not recently, but there was a few years, like, that was a big gap. We didn't see each other. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Um, so, he grew up in the same neighborhood as I did in Valley, in Truro, Nova Scotia. And there was a bunch of us around, and John is actually one of the original guys that I remember when I think way way back yeah oh, for sure yeah it's pretty cool so it's, <laughs> once again thanks for coming on man it's yeah. really awesome to see oh, it's you good that you're starting this up yeah that yeah was... i hope i hope it goes somewhere anyway um you know the people here at i've had on it so far are pretty awesome people and uh that's good yeah including you yeah john's gonna play a couple songs today and uh but we're just gonna kind of catch up first yeah for sure so uh what are you even up to you got a family and stuff i got a family yeah yeah i got a son nine-year-old son and uh like i was saying Keeps me busy. We had a busy summer, and uh, I don't know. He just uh, he likes you know. I play music at home. He likes that. And uh, does he play anything? He's picked up drums. Oh, he's, really? Yeah, so, he's, so he's in grade four, and he's going to play uh, percussion with the school. Eh? Nice. And uh, so uh, yeah, that keeps me busy. Music. Like I, I just go in spurts. I eh? like I write a bunch of music and then record for a while and then uh, take some time off. And right now I'm kind of like in the time off period, but family time. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah. And then, you know, you just got to wait for like, to, you know, for time to feel right to get into recording again. And, yeah. and uh, so we'll see. Maybe yeah, in a that's couple some, years. something you can't push into it. No. I like it. I like how you work. So you just do it really organically. Like, yeah, so far. Yeah. yeah and it's worked, you know, I have four albums right now. So it's, so it's just, it's just been the way, uh, since 2004. So, so it's it takes a while. Cool. You know? Well, I I looked through your Facebook there. I didn't want didn't want to do too much snooping around. <laughs> yeah. Because I want to be able to actually have like a genuine conversation. For sure. And uh, so, I was looking there, and I, I did read a couple things about your description, like band or uh, your band description, your pr- uh, producer and stuff. Yeah. So, you have soundtrack songs. Is that right? Yeah. There's. Uh soundtrack to haven it's like uh yes. it, was a, it was a movie filmed in uh actually i don't even know bridge bridgewater maybe something like that okay it's down there and uh so it's, it's filmed in nova scotia and uh and through my brother a buddy who did some uh, video editing right for the for the it was like a so it was it was in their dvd set for a, like a series right but then they had to kind of like a documentary about uh it was about ghosts or something i forget or haunting or something okay at the end of it and so 
through my brother, a guy uh, named Sean Beckwith, he was doing the video editing for that, uh, the DVD part of it. And they needed some, uh, just some music to go along with it, right? And uh, instead of paying big bucks to get like, you know, like licensing, like yeah. name brand songs, they, they, uh, they took a few of my songs from, I think, the first two albums I had. So there's four songs on it. So it's it was, it was a fun experience. Frig yeah. And then, uh, and then what's next? There was uh, a buddy who actually we grew up, you, you know, Jeff McIntosh. Yeah. So his brother, Corey. Corey, yeah. He's an actor now. He is, yeah. yeah. So I guess he, uh, he's, he used to be my next door neighbor growing up. And, and uh, so he's, he's making like a, a series, like a TV series called uh, Unnecessary Force. That's right. I, yeah, I read yeah. it. Yeah. And so, uh, so he, he just, I forget what happened. I think I sent him some music. Because I knew I was interested in putting music into films and stuff like that, right? Right, yeah. Just, and uh, so, obviously, he was a good contact. So, I, I think I contacted him. And then, like, I think it was about two or three years later, he said, like, I need to make a song. Like, the series is actually going to happen, right? So, he needed some uh, music to start the series off with. And uh, so, I was able to write the, the opening song for it. So, I've, I haven't seen, like, the actual, like, uh, the the tv series yet but uh it's gonna be a web series i guess but i haven't seen any of the footage but i've seen the intro credits and stuff oh like wow the, yeah yeah i think there's a guy curtis carey from newfoundland he did like the animation for it so he had uh cory gave me some ideas about like how the kind of the feel of his of the ser- the series and uh so i just did some research and then came up with a song and bounced some stuff back to him right just through the internet yep and then uh it was fine. He got it mastered and then sent it off to him. And then the buddy illustrated to the song, right? And oh. so that's how the the intro. And uh, I think they're going to start releasing it when they have about four, all of four episodes, like all edited. Oh, okay, yeah, right. Yeah, so I haven't, I haven't seen it. I've seen the intro and it looks great. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. Yeah, I was wondering sure. if you're still talking to Corey because yeah. you you guys hung out quite a bit growing up, didn't you? Not so much. No, no? Diff- different group of friends. But oh, okay. You, you, you definitely know the person because they're your neighbor, right? Yeah, but, yeah, uh, right. Yeah, I'd say like since he's moved away, we've definitely become closer. Like I've kept up with him more on the internet. Oh wow, that's cool. To, instead of in real person, right? Yeah, and uh, I'm kind of the same way with Jeff. I talk to Jeff. Uh, yeah. Jeff now. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, there is a lot of years where I didn't talk to him, but the last time he came home, we we hung out and stuff, and we've been yeah. talking a little bit uh, back and forth, and uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Good yeah. people. Yeah, great oh, people. For sure. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and then uh, what else? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens with music. Anyway, like I don't know if, when I'll write some more. Like uh, basically, use like a lot of like I'm the type of musician that um, like instead of writing like 40 songs for an album, like I basically had a whole bunch of songs written and kind of just picked from those like over the years, right? Oh wow, yeah. And uh, and then for the last one, the last album. Um, probably about half of them were just made up of old songs and then the other half is just stuff I was kind of writing at the time as recording it right. so it's not uh, basically I already have the songs whittled down like before I even start recording the ones I wanted to record with right oh uh, gets yeah. you a lot to, a lot to work with you yeah. do that yeah and I don't have to I don't have to like think about it, like think about I don't know all the other stuff I can just focus on those songs right yeah so it's that's so, the way I work. I don't so know. how long have you been doing uh, doing music? Like, what was the first thing that you picked up and got you into music? Uh, a typical story, like uh, parents got me in piano when I was three. Oh wow! Uh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah, through. Well, I didn't. I mean, I didn't. Wasn't uh, too great at it or anything. But I mean, I went from about eight years. I did piano. And then on to trumpet in, in uh, elementary school, eh? And then, uh, and then, <laughs> and then <laughs> that's crazy. I did not know any yeah, of that. Yeah. Well, and then there's a couple of years between us. I mean, like we're, well, um, but because uh, I always remembered you in sports, like baseball. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. And I played piano and, and I, trumpet. That's crazy. Oh, I just long. didn't. I just didn't realize. Yeah. There's a couple yeah. people in Valley that did that, like yeah. uh, Joey Wiley. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just saw him yesterday. He's a freaking killer drummer i've oh, never yeah. seen i've seen him play on youtube and, yeah. and videos but he's i didn't know i was hanging out with him when he was getting <laughs> friggin' lessons yeah well that's so you've been doing a long friggin' time so you M- do music yeah and then it carries over like everybody says that right piano like the knowledge you get through piano carries over right. to guitar and stuff and other instruments and uh but but guitar would have been uh grade nine so okay. i picked up grade nine and then kind of just like was OCD about it and just played all the time right through high school, right? Is that through Bruce White? 
Bruce yeah. White. Yeah. 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 And then uh, took some private lessons and then uh, just uh, like, like Soundgarden and, and uh, like Van Halen were big for me, right? So I just get those tab books and just go through them and learn all the, all the stuff, right? Yeah, right. And uh, so that's it. Just, it's been guitar since then. I picked up t- some drumming, which it was really good. Uh, I did, uh, bought like just a beginner set, right? Yep. Played that for about a year and uh, got good enough that I understood like the fundamentals about drumming. So that really carried over because for my albums, like it's all programming the drums, right? So, and I'm, I want to make it sound realistic. So to actually know what you're like in real life to know how to do drumming yeah, to yeah. a point, right? Like uh, it carried over, and so you can kind of fake it and make it sound at least you know realistic, right? Yeah, that's so, so I find about uh, when you when you do uh, a lot of drum stuff on the computer, whatnot. Yeah. It, it's amazing some people that don't even know how to play drums can they go in and they make these sounds, and I'm like, how the frig are these? Because sometimes you don't even really realize it's a it's a like a computer drummer playing. Yeah, and then something happens, you're like. Well, how the hell would that person know how to? Because there's just like little things that I, I like to do on the drums that you it'd be kind of hard to mimic on on a computer. Oh, for sure, but. and it takes time. Like I, I, I purposely tried to do that, you know, or, or put like errors, you know, like uh, like miss hits or whatever, and just to make it sound oh, like it's a right. fake drum, like a real drum, right? Oh, that's a th- trying to fake it. <laughs> yeah, every so, once like, in a while you'll put a rim yeah. rim in there, <laughs> yeah. clink. So oh. it's but I, I had fun doing that. Yeah, and that and. and uh, just uh, and two like made a big difference buying like a like a professional digital drum you know so oh, yeah. you're not just using like say like uh, Pro Tools like standard drum kit like you you buy a nice one that's been professionally recorded and yeah and and then uh, made a big difference yeah there's a couple programs that I was looking at um, I forget what they are but you can pick the studio pick the drums yeah. pick what mics you got how like where the mics are placed in the room yeah um, and all that I never really got too too much into it. Yeah, It'd frustrate me. <laughs> Just go and play drums after that. Yeah, <laughs> but it, sure. yeah, it's pretty cool. And you can have uh, a lot of those too. Hook up to electron. Right on. Well, do you have any idea where we left off? <laughs> uh, twenty minutes ago. Yeah, twenty minutes ago, we, we lost some audio. <laughs> yeah, we had a. Uh, uh, this is I. What was it? Yeah, it's audio's turn this time. Last podcast, it was the video's turn. That's all uh, right though. Yeah, well, anyway, uh, I, I wanted to trick John in coming over and having a conversation, and I got a personal conversation, so that's all that counts, really. That's good, though. Yeah. All right, yeah, I'll try to do something with all of this. Yeah. Um, we, we basically just talked about, uh, you know, some of the people, yeah, some of the recording and, and uh, stuff like that, and uh, I feel really stupid now, John. Hey, no, I'm, I'm not worried about it, man. Like I said, like, it's, uh, it's probably better if it's a quick podcast for me. You know, I'm not... Not playing live these days. I got yeah. four albums. Uh, put a lot of love into them, mm-hmm. and uh, right now it's just kind of like a quiet period for me. Uh, haven't been really writing any new stuff, right? So, uh, so I mean, I was happy to hear like you wanted me to come in and play, mm. and because uh, I always love playing, right? And it gave me an excuse to get warmed up again, and and uh, but uh, yeah, it's really that's all that's new with me. Um, last I did an album in two thousand four. Uh, next one, I think it was 2010 that I did, uh, with my brother. He did some engineering on it. Uh, did the recording and he just made it sound pretty right. Yeah. And, uh, a buddy of ours, Justin Martin, yeah. uh, did some, did a video, uh, on that album. Uh, it's called Aching Mind. We went out to like, the Bay of Fundy and, uh, it was pretty cool actually that day. We didn't talk about that. Um, we went out, picked him up and his buddy, uh, do you know, uh, I don't know how to pronounce his Nick. Cater, Carter, Cater. Nick Carter? Cater. From, is he O West? Right Might now? be now. Okay. Uh, he did some videos with, with uh, Justin. Uh, oh, okay. I, I want to say Cater. Yeah, I don't yeah, know it's, him. Yeah, it's not the Nick I know. Okay, yeah. It's, and we, you know, we got picked him up, went out, and it was funny because we didn't time, like, we didn't look at the tide tables for right. the Bay Fundy, and we went out, and it was like an, uh, uh, it was in October, got out there, and and the place that we had in mind to do the the shoot for the video didn't work out, eh? And uh, so we we were just driving along. We saw this spot out there. And he goes, "Oh, I fish there or something like that." So we went out, and there's this cool like rock structure, like just kind of jutting out into the ocean. We got up there, took my shoes off, like you're saying that I like to do, right? Took yeah, my yeah. Shoes off, and and uh, we're just playing in the mud, and uh, did the video there, and then we came back and went to like a cottage and found like a cool like a. Uh, old-fashioned um, water pump. Yeah. 
So we did that. Yeah, that's in the video. Yeah. Yeah. And oh yeah, I know what I want to say is that we didn't even look at the timetables, but it worked out that like as we were getting ready for like a certain shot, the tide was coming in. So it was pretty cool. Oh and yeah. It just worked out perfect, right? <laughs> that's and, awesome. And it's funny because a few things just worked out perfect when I worked with Justin and he's done like pretty much pretty much all my videos. Right. Um, even in the the last one we did for uh my before our time album, like the second one, the last, second to last one I did. Um, we we're gonna do it up in Victoria Park, right? We kind of the way him him and I work is like um, we get together, I, I send him a song, and we kind of like just come up with ideas and see if you know it's kind of weird because I'm the one that writes the song, so I know my feeling behind it. So you got to get someone else's perspective, right? Right. And then uh, and then usually he has an idea, and then we just kind of like back and forth and develop an idea for a cool video. And and, uh, and it was this last one. Um, within the last about a year and a half, we're gonna do it up in Victoria Park, Park and do kind of like a panorama up uh, near the yeah. reservoir, right? Yep. And so he got there, and then he was trying to set up the shot, and he said it was garbage, right? Like he, he could just, even though it was good in my mind, like he could tell it wasn't gonna work. So, oh, he, okay. so we went down to the the train. Um, it's like Gasper Cross or something. You can oh the, Casper, Casper Cross. I think it is. Yeah, yeah. Went down there. And we tried to do it up on that cross crossing thing, and it wasn't working either. So we went down and hung out on the tracks. Yep. And like I said, like so often, like working with him, like stuff just works out perfectly. Like there was a like a shunter train that was like pushing trains back and forth. Yeah. And like the last shot of the day, which is turned out to be the video, is like when the train was just going by really slow. And so I mean, you couldn't even time it, right? You couldn't work that out. Yeah. Right? It just happened to be him doing it right there, and. So that was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, it's always fun working with that guy. Yeah, so you guys, uh, he's he's done that for a while too, right? Yeah, he used to do a lot of... Uh, what was production? Skateboard, skateboarding. Walk on face productions? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, like skateboarding, snowboarding, that sort of stuff. Yeah. Did quite a few videos, and, and uh, I'm not, I think he might have done another uh, music video with someone else, but... We've, we've we've had a lot of fun. We've done like five videos together, I'd say. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah he's good. a creative guy too. He, oh, for sure. Yeah, I'd yeah. say you're both pretty creative. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, so yeah. when your uh, your musical description, what would it fall under to you? Uh, uh, what I, you know, like when you're doing your own bio, you have to like it takes a long time. You got to work out, we got to work out uh, what you want to write about yourself. And like the last one was uh, uh, all. It wasn't folk. I think it was, was alt rock troubadour. So that was, that was my own tagline. So right, Cause you got to you got to do that, right? It kind of sounds cheesy, but like you're trying to promote yourself. You got to do that. I wanted to do like a good, you know, I wanted to promote uh, the last album as best I could, which wasn't a whole lot. But I, so I, I did my own bio and all that, and and so so that's it. It's like it's it's not rock. It's got rocky elements, yep. you know. Because I'm a huge Pearl Jam uh, fan, right? And uh, so it's definitely. Kind of like no code versus that kind of album, that year, you know, era. Yeah. Um, so it's got kind of like that influence in it, but it's it's definitely like f- not folky, but like alt alt rock, I guess. Yep. You know, it's not it's not crushing. Like it's just just kind of in the middle. Good. Uh, but then I've, I find like my lyrics are more like thought provoking as opposed to like just straight up rock, right? So, yeah. So it's in there. Yep. Um, so that's how I describe myself. I've definitely it's been a challenge to do that. Like, uh, even some of the people I've asked, like, it's just, it's kind of, it's hard, to, hard to place it. Yeah. Like, it's just not, it's not obviously folks, not obviously rock. Like it's, it's, sta- it's, it's all, it does stand all, apart. It does stand alternate. apart from a lot of music. It's something, it's, something I don't know. Yeah. It's hard to describe. It's good. Yeah. It's definitely like an alternative. Alternative. Yeah. I don't know. It's all, all, <laughs> it's all, good. Yeah. <laughs> I all like rock. the music. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Yeah, um, definitely. And, uh, yeah, I, like I said, I'm pretty quiet right now, but I've had, I've had a, uh, I've had a lot of fun. I've had some great opening slots before. Uh, worked with like a lot of incredible musicians through uh, recording at Idea of East. We had some crazy uh, studio musicians, John Upworth and Shane Kerr, and uh, those guys were able to just like lay down stuff second time they heard it right, yeah. and and just came up with some stuff that you apparently you like. Uh, yeah. Just happy to see Weathered Bird. Yeah. And, uh, great song. Great song. And just had a, John had a great touch with it, right? And just yeah. really instinctive drummer, and and, um, and so I'm just taking time off. Uh, no inspiration right now. I put a lot of work into the last two albums, and played a like a show to like a show just for the, when I put the album, the last album out. Uh, and that's about, about, 
pretty pretty much it. Yep. Um, that's my story, man. <laughs> that's it. That's cool. that's nice <laughs> catching up with you today. Like, yeah, definitely, definitely. Like, um, yeah. I, uh, I I wanted to ask you, too, um, about people that you follow. You said you're a Pearl Jam fan. Yeah, oh, um, for sure. Big concerts and stuff you've been to? Any? Um, not massive ones, no. Like, ones that I really enjoyed. Uh, I'm Mother Earth in Quebec. Oh, that uh, would be a good one. Yeah, like, um, um, let me see here. Winter Sleep a lot. I've seen yep. them quite a few times. Um yep. uh, I not, just, not not huge like I haven't I haven't been able to you know go see like a Tool concert of Pearl yeah, Jam Montreal I haven't yeah. I haven't done that. See, but, I've uh, I've always like I know a lot of people like that play music that go to a lot of concerts. Yeah. But for me, I don't go to any concerts. Yeah. Like I'll go to um, I used to go to Blues Fest a lot. Yeah. The Dutch Mason Festival. That was like at a a great place for me to go. Like I feel comfortable. It wasn't too crowded. Everything was nice and like clean. Everything set up really good. But, uh, yeah, I always found it pretty funny how I'd never go to a big concert. I had tickets to go over and see Aerosmith in, yeah. where's Cape Breton, was it, that last time they played? I'm not sure, yeah. Yeah, and uh, I had to freaking sell the ticket because I just couldn't go. I was like, yeah, I don't want to stand in the middle of a crowd for that long. Yeah. Like, and it's, uh, I don't know, I just find it, I find it really weird. Yeah. But you're kind of like the, you're, you don't really go to a whole lot of concert. You just... Not really. I like a lot of, say, bar concerts, right? But not... Oh, yeah, not, right. You know, I've, it was Edge Fest. It used to be Old Edge Fest, I think. Like, uh, I went to that in Ottawa. Like, there's some concerts like that, but not, not huge ones now. No, yeah. I haven't been... Uh, I have definitely haven't gone to... here. like, a lot of people from the Maritimes will go to, like, say, Quebec City or, like, Montreal for a concert just on a weekend, right? Right, right. But, uh, no, I haven't, I haven't been done that. And, uh, but definitely, I'm listening to music all the time, though. Yeah. And I'm loving like Spotify and stuff and just, just like, uh, listen to you're that a big work. Spotify fan? Well, just streaming music, right? Yeah, I just, yeah, I, right. I work at a computer all day so I can just listen to music and that's, you know, that's that's how I get my influences too, right? You're, you're able to just like look at everything, right? Listen yeah. to all different kinds of music and, and uh, but yeah. Um, Pearl Jam and I'm Mother Earth and like Soundgarden and Van Halen, they were like, they were a key when I was learning like right in the heart like when I was wearing uh, guitar the most yeah right that's who I was listening to right <laughs> around uh, yeah, like 95 96 97 they uh it's all those big guys uh Alex Burris is talking about my buddy there down he, he's gonna do the the mastering of the yeah. track I don't know I think I think we might have got that I don't know if we we're talking about that we'll have the video part of it anyway so I might even take the audio and just stitch it oh yeah whatever um but he is a huge Van Halen fan. Yeah. And when we first started hanging around, he was like, man, listen to Van Halen. He's quite a bit younger than I am, right? Um, like probably eight years younger than I am. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So he's like, man, Van Halen, Van Halen. I'm like, get that shit out of my <laughs> face. Because I always think of Van Halen as jump. Yep. Like in the in the neon colored spandex, whatever. And, yeah. oh, well, I mean, he still wears the spandex every <laughs> once in a while. But... That's what I always think, and he started showing me stuff like Ice Cream Man and um, uh, da, da, da. Yeah, a few, older, the older stuff, yeah. The older stuff, and I had no idea how cool they were yeah. and how like badass every individual person is in that band. For sure, nuts. Yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah, see, like I've never, I've never really was a Van Halen fan. It's funny though, like bringing it back to me, like. It's funny how they were a huge in influence when I started playing guitar, right? But it's not heard in my music, right? It'd be more, oh like, yeah, more like uh, like Pearl Jam ish stuff, you know, like along those lines. Yeah, you're like, right. So it's like it's funny how like your own, you just get little pieces of it, you know. I think I used Van Halen as just like uh, something to learn the technical part of guitar. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like yeah. just just to look at the tab books and learn what you should be doing on guitar, right? And then I don't think too much of the music carried over, but maybe some of the chord positions and stuff. But, okay, yeah. But it, uh, it's funny, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it is, is weird. I always, pick pieces from different bands. I always notice that, um, like with drumming especially, I think it's like really easy to do that with drumming. You pick up, um, there's like five or six different styles or maybe somebody the way somebody goes at the drums. Like, um, for example, uh, Mike Miley, Michael Miley, he plays for um, Rival Sons. Have you ever heard of them? I know by name, yeah. Crazy, crazy band. Um, he's, he's one of the best drummers, and he has that old, uh, old Bonham sound, too. 
like his his kit just is huge tubby yeah. like really really big and uh when he gets up on the drums he's like he's almost like leaning forward like <laughs> he's like i'm ready for this and the, you know the sticks are the choked up on the sticks so he can get around a little faster and stuff like that yeah. and uh watching him like even though i don't play like him or i don't play the songs like that he's playing or as nearly as good yeah um when you get into the mind focus of that drummer and how they're going at the drums, it helped me get through shows like crazy because I'm like, here we go. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, you take, you take a little bit from uh, individual, uh, artists for sure. And, yeah. uh, it, yeah, you don't play any of it. That's just like me, like in, uh, like somebody like, um, slit knots drummer. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? But oh, I yeah. don't, obviously don't play like Joey <laughs> Jordison or hard like that. Yeah. Uh, it's, and it's and another thing too, where I was having a discussion with a friend last night and it's not necessarily, actually it's the other day, John Rogers, the, ne- the last podcast I did, um, I don't care for country and I will voice that. Like, I don't, I won't be an <laughs> asshole and like run up to somebody and be like, I hate country, yeah. <laughs> but, but like, I don't like it. But, just like everything else, like sports and stuff, I don't have a favorite team or a favorite band. I have a favorite individual that's doing their part in that band. Yeah. And I feel that's, that's awesome. Like you make a, I think they should do a fantasy draft in like the <laughs> yeah, band. <geez>. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> should make a game up like that. That'd yeah. be awesome. But yeah, <laughs> I like, uh, I like how, how you, that's a true artist. If you can take a little bit from here, a little yeah. bit from there, make it work for yourself and not have it sound like that. Yeah. That's, that's good. Yeah. It's good That's work. Cool. Do you want to? Do you want to give a couple songs ago? Sure. Yeah. All right. We're gonna. It doesn't matter because this video's already stopped and started so many times yeah, that if we together. stop it again. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hello, my oldest friend, there's no need for names We'll just pick up where we left it off, things will seem the same You let me be to be my own free man Never once have you kept back all those anything you might have Thank you, we've opened the world Thank you, you've given me something I can't see Oh, can I? But I know it's real by the way I've changed inside Hello, my oldest friend There's no need for names We'll just pick up where we left it off Things will seem the same Oh, you left me be to be my own free man Never once have you kept back All those anything you might have Thank you, I'll give this word Thank you this truly is something the new he awakens Truth I've been chasing and I know it's real By the way I've changed inside Hello my oldest friend, there's no need for names We'll just pick up where we left it off Things will seem the same Oh, you left me be to be my own free man Never once have you kept back all those anything you might have Hello, my oldest 
best friend There's no need for names We'll just pick up Where we left it out Things will seem the same Whoa, you let me be To be my own free man Never once have you kept back All those anythings you might have Whoa, hello Hello, my oldest friend Oh, hello Hello, my oldest friend Hello Hello, my oldest friend Hello Hello, hello. Nice. There you go, bud. Nice, it's called uh, Old Friend. Nice. I'm going to see everything and then you can play another one if you want. Sure. And everything seems to be okay here. <laughs> and that's still recording there, and that's still recording. Just give me one little check into the microphone. Hello, hello, hello. This one's called Pray to Love, and this one's off of, uh, it's an old one, I used to play with Scott, um, but uh, it took a while to record it, so it didn't, uh, even though I used to play with a buddy of mine for a while, uh, it didn't make it on until this uh, latest album called with Raw with Intent, but the song's called uh, Pray to Love. All right, this is called Pray to Love. Um, it doesn't matter. I, I just, uh, 
I just didn't know if you had any more. I just seen more sheets here. And try another one. Use those two if this one if this one flops. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, just like I've been, I'm, uh, where you, you know, you know what it is. If you're not, you'd be rusty playing drums, right? If you're not playing all the time. If so, you I, ask me to play yeah. something right now, I'd be like, fuck. Yeah, so, so the same thing, right? I'm pretty, you know. If, if you want to just shut it down, it's cool. We can talk for a few minutes and then call a rap, too. No, I'll play this one. Okay. It'll be good. Um, I'm going to put this on here. All right, this one's called Take Flight, Float Home, and this one actually did a video, I have a video of this one uh, online. Sweet, Take Flight. Take Flight, Float Home. One more to say, I've got you in my mind All of the time Call out your name, I hear and I'm fine Oh my, oh my Much more to see, much more to do your time too soon Not you but I have gone in my mind Oh my, oh my Float home my love Take flight in your new kind of link that you want me to post great yeah sure so let's uh let's just have a couple words before we wrap this up just a couple wow that was awesome that worked yeah it worked us been uh, had to dust off my guitar and get it out and play again right <laughs> so just, i haven't been doing much of that lately so that went so well Yes, me too. <clears throat> All right, well, I just uh, I just let the audio keep rolling. Uh, we're just gonna have a couple words and then wrap it up. Thanks for coming over, man. Yeah, and oh, my pleasure. And I hope uh, I hope this takes off for you. I hope you get you know lots of guests and stuff, and, and it's good to have something local like this. Yeah, that's great. Well, that's that that's the plan. Like, 
you know, it's, it's, if I can get people to listen, then everything that I put on it, like everybody that I'm on it, if they want to come on and promote something or, you know, if they're doing something good for yeah. churro or just doing something good in general, yeah, it's uh, a lot of people, I don't know. It's just kind of weird in this town. Sometimes you don't hear about things that people are doing that's really good. Yeah. So, uh, Hopefully right. there's a lot out there to pick. I got a, a sure. list of people I'm going to have in, yep. uh, questions and stuff like that, that I always wanted answers. Like, you know, I'm having a, I'm hav- having a commercial pilot come in in a couple of months to talk oh, about yeah. my fear of flying. Oh, jeez, This is great. <laughs> yeah, this I know. Great, it's man. not just it's, music. It's going to be fun. Well, yeah, but thanks a lot, man. And yeah. uh, let's just hang out outside so, of this. Yeah, like, sometime for sure. Yeah. yeah. I don't do too much, but, but it's, it's nice when, you know, like I said, like we met up there at a bar one time and it's nice just to hang like the spur of the moment. Yeah. yeah and we got to jam together sometime. Yeah. yeah. That'd be nice. Like, Enjoy that. Definitely. 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 For sure. And, uh, all right. All right, anyway. folks, we're going to wrap this up. Yeah. I got a lot of editing to do on this yeah, video and pasting and whatnot. <laughs> it's going to come out like a Frankenstein podcast, but we got the songs over. The purpose of you coming over was for me to kind of catch up a yeah. little bit and for me to put some of your music out and, yeah. uh, you know, we got yep. some CDs here. Yeah, so I was going to bring that up. Yeah. Good. John was good enough to bring in some CDs. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I definitely want people to have them. I'm not going to keep them for myself. <laughs> <laughs> so I might have a, go somewhere. Yeah, I might have a little contest or something like that, and uh, I'll take that tonight. I'll think about something tonight. Yeah, for whatever it. you want to do with them. Yeah, yeah. That's good. For sure. Oh, man, this is awesome. Yeah, that's great. Sweet. Well, today was a success for... It's a lot as of fun. good as it happened anyway. And thanks a lot for the songs. You sound amazing, yeah, man. I appreciate it. A yeah, lot of hard it's work. Great. It's paying off. Yeah. Thanks again, dude. Yeah. All right. Cool. I said mind focus. Oh, uh, what is mind focus? Anyway. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Whew. Thanks again, John, for coming on the podcast. It was awesome having you, man. Really good talking to you. Thanks again, everybody, for listening. Um, sorry for the technical difficulties, but whatever, it's the way it goes, I guess. And, um, it's not like you missed a whole bunch. Let's just say that that grizzly bear will never, ever screw with John again. Can't believe that. Anyway, no, I'm just, just, just joking with you. Just teasing. Did miss some shout outs though, I think. Um, shout out to, uh, Joey Wiley. We had the talking about that cat for a minute. Uh, shout out to Corey McIntosh. Shout out to my good buddy Jeff McIntosh. And shout out to John's older brother Craig. And uh, I'm going to play this song on the way out. I usually fade out to the music, but I didn't want to disrupt this song. I'd rather just play, let it just play by itself. So um, this is Wake Up Alive, John Sperry. Now we are going to the wind.